Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Joe Gas here. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you. This is an iPhone SDK tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys how to add actions to the buttons in a um UI pop up alert or a action sheet. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because there are at least ten videos on YouTube telling you how to make pop ups. Um, Jonah, a Mac of the Geek, I want to give a big shout out to him. His link is in the description. You guys got to check him out. He makes the same videos as me. He does um, uh, more iPhone SDK tutorials if you're into that. His link is in the description. He just made a video yesterday on how to make a UI action sheet. So, but then again, like, I don't explain, I, I'm not saying he should have because he was just making it to do the UI action sheet. But now I'm going to be telling you how to add to make it so that a button actually does something, okay? Because every tutorial doesn't really tell you that. Alright, so here, if we build and go on this application, I just have an app called Jogas Push Me. And there is an action sheet that comes up. I could cancel it. When I press YouTube or Twitter, now you'd be guessing I want that to go to my YouTube and Twitter, but I haven't put any code for it to do that, so all it's doing is just... Uh, it's just hiding the um, action sheet. So we want to put code right there. So if you have a pop-up or an action sheet, your code will be right there. And after the curly bra close curly bracket of your action sheet or pop-up alert, you want to press enter twice and do a void. Then you want to do, and this is very important, if you were doing an alert, if you were doing a pop-up, you do alert view with a capital V. If you're doing an action sheet, you do action sheet with a capital S. So I'm doing an action sheet, so I'm going to keep it like that. Then you're going to want to do a um, colon UI action sheet, or if you're doing a, a pop-up alert, UI alert view. Then space star, close um, whatever parentheses. Then action sheet again, or also known as alert or alert view. And then space clicked button at index. Hopefully you've seen what I capitalized there. Colon ns integer. Ns integer. Alright. Then you want to put button index. Alright. So now, right after here is where the code is going to be going. So... If I just go over here, button index, press enter, now I'm going to actually have my code. So I'm going to do an if statement. If button index space equals equals space. Now, this is where a lot, and I mean a lot of people get confused. If you want to add an, the only actions you could add it to is a, um, What's it called? You want to add an action to the other button titles. Those are the ones that do the actions. Um, so as you can see, the first button title, that is identified as zero. The second is identified as one. So if you have two buttons, it's going to be zero and one. If you had three, it's going to be zero, one, and two. So my YouTube is known as the zero index. So if I put zero here, close parentheses, space, open curly bracket, close curly bracket, then in here, I can put the code of that button. So I'm going to go into one of my older apps that, um, you know, was just a fail, but, um, and then I have code right here. What this code does is make it so when you press a button, it opens it in, uh, it opens in Safari uh, URL. So you could basically put any code here, but for example, I'm going to be putting this code. I'm going to change the address to my YouTube HTTP home slash slash www.youtube.com slash joegas. Alright, now if I build and go, I might get an error. Yeah, I knew that was what's going to happen. Um, I needed to actually put another, sorry, I was a little bit too close, another, um, Close curly bracket after that line. Um, let's see here, because I think I did something wrong.
Yep, that was it. Right after button index, you want to put an open curly bracket. Then you want to put in the if statement. After that, another open curly bracket. And then two closed curly brackets goes right here. So if I press push me, the cancel actually does that. And then the YouTube, it's going to open in, it's the code I gave it right here. It's going to open my YouTube account. So now I'm going to want to do the Twitter one. So if button index space equals equals space one, which is notified as my Twitter, open curly bracket. I'm going to paste in the same code right here, except this URL is going to be replaced with my Twitter. So, now, build and go. Push me. Now, if you click on Twitter, it loads my Twitter account, guys. And it's just really cool because... Now people actually know how to add actions. Um, the same goes for everything goes the same for a pop-up alert. This is the same for a pop-up alert, except if you're doing a pop-up, you would do, just to let you know, alert view with that capital V. And then right here, uh, that is replaced with another alert view. And that's it, guys. So that's pretty much how you make a <clears throat> how to add actions to a UI pop-up alert or a UI action sheet. I hope this helped. If it did, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a nice day.